the biggest douche of the universe. In my years of myth hunting, there has been a lot of changes in the behaviors of the myths around me. Or, well, the only major change was that I stopped hunting small myths and began hunting bigger myths. Because I realized small myth business is just a phase of one's life that has to be terminated and not supported, because then I'll become famous for no reason and get cocky. Hey, Steve! How did you become famous on YouTube? Oh, you know, making a short that gained over 9,000 views in three hours right when I changed the thumbnail from a VR headset to a f***ing anime girl. What the f***? Oh, yeah, yeah, some, some uh, YouTuber interviewed me, and the, the video is uninteresting. interesting. But, but I'm technically superior to every big myth out there because uh, I've got a notice. My magic evil rock myth that can turn your breast inside out is counting numbers, baby. Tempt him to cash out and make a sequel. Magic stick that can hurt others if I swing it hard enough. Myth. Yeah. But there has been a bit of a change in this community, or as I have perceived in the old days of two years ago, where legendary hunters would go to forbidden caves and slay the evil myth dragon. Thus proving, replace the sugar with salt in your birthday cake. It was a dog. Uh. The myth community has evolved during the years, except this time it's going backwards to a simpler state of itself. Yeah, that's right. No more worrying about whether you should spend your day studying on your college finals or go to Roblox to hunt some silly man with a scary game and write a report. Being forced to either choose between getting a degree or a state of not getting fired from the RMH due to being in a... Uh, you have been banned from the Mickey Mouse Club for being in nights. We're going to the future, where you no longer have to worry about scary messages and games you have to put together. No, 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 no. Just go to the telephone. It's, uh, it's, it'll tell you everything. The goat's out back. Ring, ring. It's your mother. She is here to tell you that you're a deadbeat fat man who spends all his days talking to scary people on a kid's platform and doing things that you won't get you anywhere in life. Stupid woman doesn't know that you are friends with Heathian Maker, ex-leader of the realms of the light. And now the meth community has the brains of the Team Fortress 2 community and do stupid things while the old myth people stare angrily out the window at the fun younglings are having, mumbling to themselves. Back in my day, we had actual codes placed aesthetically it was actually hard back then hey i'm not scared of you look he's kissing me yeah take this i could give this to him have this give him the food what oh, oh. that's okay Oh, I'm a ghost now. Ah! But now the younglings think they rule the myth community as they have their homosexual intercourses and their playstations. Back then you were supposed to do it in secret. Myth hunting was originally an underrated gem, and I got this piece of information from nowhere. And every fact I say is improvised because I have the mentality of a cornflake. But it all ended when Flamingo sailed to the country with his fellow stands and turned myth hunting into a disgrace. We are basically standing in a graveyard. <laughs> But then, out of the ashes comes an unexpected hero with a shining magical teacup that flies by spinning around really fast. B by God, it's it's that person that hosted the 2021 annual Myth Oscars. Uh, that was sort of ruined because I was too anxious to join the voice chat. She stretches out her hands with her godly light, gave an unexpected hope to Myth Hunting. That's right. No more feasting of the armates development grouping, except them ready to play your frame all scattered myth game. We have myth group. Another myth group, and a microwave that is powered by screaming. Ah! 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 Ah, yes. Well, well, pretty lady. Server lock is on. We finally meet. It's Amelia, a god! Raised in an abusive household who stay locked in her dangerously overlapping room, practicing RKO moves. Oh, Mr. Froggy! But one day, he broke due to all that violence. Mr. Froggy! No! She yelled, but then something rather peculiar happened. That is right. 
His spirit came. Then he floated to the miserable girl and said with his infinite wisdom, Kid that has been beating the crap out of me since day one. You have mastered well in the art of Kung Fu. The time to face your father has come. It is all to arrive. Go kill him. But. No but. <laughs> But she grabbed a tomahawk and tomahawk chopped her dad. Tomahawk chop! <laughs> tomahawk! What? Yay! First kill! But oh no! This is bad! This is friends! She didn't bet her dad! She just chopped it up normally! Now she has to go to a country where killing people like that is common than the godly kingdom of Britain. Yeah, long story short, she got stabbed by a boyfriend for cheating on him with a man with a bigger shank and then she made a deal with the devil to become a cannibal crap whatever a short and simple myth with an easy backstory to understand this is just the tip of the iceberg of what makes her the fastest growing myth see all i know is i knows nothing yeah i never study crap on this myth but i do i do know a few points that makes this uh, stretch to its dignitated point what makes amelia god the most fastest growing myth is that she has done numerous favors for the entire the community i need your help my wife was eaten by rabid honey badgers <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is wrong with you why are you laughing oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly by being there and active every time I'm asleep because time zones are stupid. Additionally, she made a myth group along with moral larcenism who I've never credited in co-development of the group anytime I've mentioned the group. Uh, the game is fairly scripted and features good information on people in the community except for me. Oh, oh, oh but the, the group is inactive due to lack of people participating uh, due to lack of numbers. I need numbers, people. Okay. She additionally hosts the King Tank Smith Oscars, which I've mentioned three times in this video. Even though I'm running against one of my favorites, um, Eagle Knut, he's awesome. So I feel like he also should win, but come on. Vote on me, of course. Arkham City, oh, oh, YouTube edition. I screwed up badly. I took this Oscar thing. <laughs> And I, I, uh, I didn't, I didn't go up and say, I didn't go up and say the speech <laughs> thanking my parents, and instead, <laughs> I, I, I took a crap on the stage, and I, felt, I feel bad about myself. I am. Now oh, whatever, you can have my Oscar. Take my, take my. You can take it. You weren't deserve it more than I do. There you go. You can have that. You can feel good about yourself. I don't like having an Oscar. You can play with the d if you want to. This means you won physically, but I won spiritually. And people value her as a respected member of the community, like one of those main character chicks who'll do whatever it takes to help everyone and is overpowered at everything, which gives her a good reputation. But deep down, there's a burning hatred amongst everyone. But not me. I respect anyone who messaged me first on Discord. God damn! Oh no, they're after us. They're after us. I sacrificed myself for the pretty lady. And she's dead. Oh, but she also does point out groomers, but a guy apparently didn't like it, so she stopped. She also has some fancy tea shop where every Saturday night you can get the fancy Melagnerfeuchon tea as well as the green tea, blue tea, and the Pride Month special rainbow tea. Yes, and she also hosts karaoke on the top floor, but normies aren't allowed on stage. She needs the entire stage space to find a victim's head to bite off like the one guy bitch Kenny's head off. Oh my god, Ozzy Osbourne bit Kenny's head off! You bastard! Yeah, Amelia God is one of the horsemen that will bring back color in this community. But I have no idea where the community stretches off into. The only thing I know about this size is the amount of myth groups Amelia God has joined. Yeah, that's right, bitches. I have no clue what I'm talking about, but what I do know is that we're fighting a war here, and I'm going to make sure I'm on the side that wins. The end.